Hi, good morning, everyone. Uh, this is Manish Parmar. Uh, I, I lead uh, upstream practice for LNT Infotech. And uh, with me, I will be having Siddharth Sinere, who is a geophysicist and uh, domain consultant. Uh, and today we will be talking about uh, a business solutions in terms of uh, uh, extracting obligation data from seismic contracts and uh, ingesting the same into the OSTU data platform. <clears throat> using our LTIS FOSPER solution. So before we get into the actual solution, I uh, just wanted to share a few insights about our company. Uh, LTI stands for LNT Infotech. Uh, uh, basically, it's a $2.1 billion size company. Uh, uh, we are a part of uh, our parent company called Larson & Tubro, um, and which brings uh, almost $5 billion of revenue in oil and gas sector. Uh, almost 47,000 employees worldwide. Uh, we are offering our services to all oil and gas major globally. In terms of uh, uh, our oil and gas practice, uh, basically, be a, it's a 20 years old uh, oil and gas practice uh, with uh, almost 3,000 practitioners in terms of technical and domain way. Uh, we bring a lot of heritage from our parent company who does a uh, lot of business uh, in terms of uh, hydrocarbon refining and petrochemicals. Uh, um, also, we we are we operate uh, all of our services uh, in the complete oil and gas value chain, starting from upstream, midstream, downstream, and we are entering into the multiple sources of energy. And we have we have started the new practice uh, called ESG. <coughs> In terms of uh, LTI's contribution to the OSD forum, um, we are a silver member of OSD forum for last three years, and we are actively contributing um, in multiple projects of OSD War 3 uh, release. Uh, so starting from, we were part of certification in terms of uh, documenting a lot of guidelines as well as automating some schema validation part. Uh, we are we are doing a lot of testing activities as, as a part of overall OS2 data platform uh, re release management. Uh, so we are actively involved uh, in, in, in testing space from domain way. Uh, we have donated uh, uh, one of our solution uh, in the area of audit and metrics. Uh, we built a, a KPI dashboarding solution and th that is a part of core OS2 data platform. Um, in terms of entitlement of obligation, the initial pilot, uh, the whole development was done by LTI, uh, uh, and then still uh, we are playing some role in terms of development. We played a role in terms of OSD for production, uh, as well as uh, we were part of uh, helicopter resource coordination pilot project. So the dashboard development was taken care of by LTI developer. So the, this is this is just for a uh, uh, for your reference, and this is uh, our contribution to the OSD forum. In terms of uh, LTI solution for OSD data platform ad adoption, so basically we we have built our own solution framework framework called EPDM platform, and uh, basically we we brings uh, bring a lot of um, solution accelerators in terms of uh, uh, data ingestion to the OSD, then in in terms of data delivery to the various uh, end user applications uh, or ENP workflows. And then bringing a lot of insight uh, from OSDU data, right? So um, that that's where uh, we have our own data suite of products um, uh, called Fosper. And in in today's uh, session, uh, we will be giving a demo of one of the business case uh, with the help of aspect. Um, so basically, this framework helps um, in terms of quick adoption of OSDU data, data platform. So uh, for today's presentation, basically uh, we will be talking more about aspect product of Fosper. So Fosper is basically a, a suite of products uh, which deals with the data transformation, and every product of Fosper that is Spectra, Aspect, Optic, uh, Refract, and Lumin, um, each product brings uh, unique value proposition in terms of uh, data transformation, and it brings a lot of uh, actionable insights. So.
Um, in today's presentation, we will be giving a demo of aspect product and we have built one use case to extract data from seismic contracts um, and then how we can relate that attributes in terms of entitlement and obligation and then how, how it is going to help in OSD data platform, right? So that, that's a business case we will be discussing next. So with this, I would like to invite my colleague Siddharth Sinare to present the business case using Aspect product. Thank you. Siddharth, over to you. So as more and more companies across the world, as companies are adopting the OSD platform, so data entitlement and obligation uh, becomes a very critical service. So for modern sets of data, when most of the records are digital, uh, it is not a major issue because the records can be retrieved very easily. But uh, for older set of records, many of these obligations and contractual information are captured in uh, contractual documents, which may be in uh, either in a scanned format, in a non-text recognizable format, or even in paper-based documents. So our solution over here, which uh, Manish just introduced, the Phosphor solution, uh, of which the aspect part of that phosphor solution is uh, tuned to uh, extract the entitlement and obligation parameters, that is uh, the important contractual terms, that is when is the effective date between whom uh, the contract was signed, uh, which are the areas and coordinates restricting these contracts. So those data extraction can be done from uh, paper-based documents or image-based documents using our solution. So this is what uh, we are going to present today. Uh, Manish, can you kindly go to the next slide? Right. So uh, this is the business objective, which I just mentioned, and the business benefits for these cases are basically, uh, of course, these are very important parameters for managing the data obligations and contractual parts on any platforms, including OSDU. Uh, second is the data usage rights management. This is especially critical for uh, multi-client new venture data companies who have multiple data sets sold to uh, multiple clients for definite periods of time across the world. So managing those uh, contractual obligations and data access permissions are critical. And this can be done uh, as a, as a, by extracting the data from uh, the paper-based uh, legacy documents, the contractual documents. And also uh, data sets are usually a shared for academic purposes or for other purposes to third parties. So uh, to prevent the misuse, many of these data sets uh, are sometimes watermarked uh, just to ensure that the original proprietorship of these data sets are maintained. So with this in mind, uh, I will probably uh, skip uh, this slide and then probably go into the main uh, data set. But before that, I'll just speak about this user journey. So this platform that we are talking about called Phosphor Aspect, it's an AI-based intelligent platform, uh, which has got multiple components to it. That includes uh, data ingestion. Second is the OCR. We have supporting multiple OCR engines for doing this purpose. After the OCR is run, for initial set of documents, it, the metadata parameter list has to be created and the corresponding values from the report has to be annotated uh, by the human in the loop. And once a sufficient number of documents are trained uh, and the corresponding models, AI models are built. Then for further documents, the future documents, uh, the system, the application is uh, intelligent enough to actually extract these data sets with a good amount of confidence. Uh, so this I will be displaying on the uh, actual uh, interface. So one more thing that I would uh, like to um, in, uh, say over here is that uh, this uh, phosphor aspect document uh, processing system this has been an offshoot of uh, our uh, in-depth uh, sort of subsurface data processing entire solution, which can extract metadata attributes from well logs, from seismics, and even from well completion reports and so on. So with this, uh, probably I will uh, share, start sharing the screen Manish uh, for the part of the solution then. Uh, let me take up the screen sharing. Uh, I hope you can see this. So this is the. Uh, I think that's good. Yeah. 
So this is the home page of the aspect uh, solution that we were speaking about. Uh, so aspect is a, one of the modules of the phosphor solution. The phosphor is a more versatile solution and aspect over here is uh, focused towards extracting data from uh, paper based or image based documents based on OCRs. Secondly, uh, it can also extract tables. Uh, it can process different type of formats of documents like PDF, XLS, TIFFs, PNGs, and it also supports multiple languages. It is also uh, capable enough to extract data from barcodes, tables, and so on and so forth. So uh, within the aspect solution, so there are multiple uh, modules, each of which are tuned for particular data sets. For example, there are there is an automated document classification system for geochemical data sets and for well completion reports, so on and so forth. So today we'll be focusing on the seismic contract, uh, this module of phosphor uh, aspect. So if I just uh, click open on it, uh, so these are a set of files which have already been ingested and OCR uh, for the uh, <coughs> saving of time purpose. So if I open one of these uh, files, which has been ingested, uh, it will take probably one or two minutes to open up. Yes. So this is a image scanned copy of that document, which was ingested. Uh, secondly, this is the OCR version of the same document. Uh, this is important because otherwise we cannot extract the metadata attributes. Uh, which are the attributes we can do? What are the uh, major OCR engines that we support that I will be coming in the second part of the presentation on the configure solution screen. Uh, so coming back to the main thing. So over here on the right hand side, we have a list of metadata attributes that have been extracted from this document. We have trained multiple documents of similar type and then uh, run this through the model to extract these data sets automatically. So if I, I'll not go through all of them, but few of the important parameters, for example, what is the license number, the license details, uh, who, between whom were the agreement signed, uh, for example, one of the parties were uh, the Petroleum Exhibition Development Board and the second one of them was the uh, licensor is this one and the licensee over here is the Green Park Energy Limited, where the data is located so on and so forth, plus the coordinates of which are the areas on which uh, the, these uh, contractual agreements were done. So all of them are extracted from these documents. So as we understand that the quality of extraction depends a great on the original quality of the document, parent document, and sometimes many of the documents are also handwritten. So there might be some issues in the extraction. So what we have over here is a sort of human in the loop QC system where uh, any of the fields, if it has not been captured properly, uh, the human in the loop, the domain person can go into it. They can uh, make the necessary changes within this, uh, within this captured field and then save the changes over here and then download the document either as a JSON format or a CSV format. As we see, it can be a before QC document as well as an after QC document. So preferably for the final person, we will be doing the detailed QC and then uh, saving it and then extracting the JSON out of here. Uh, this is primarily the function that we are doing. Uh, now coming to what are the configurations and what are the different, just let me click on the screen over here. So first is the taxonomic configuration. So we can, uh, we have a predefined list of metadata attributes, but if uh, any particular uh, company requires any particular set of documents or set of attributes, it can be entered and added, or it can be the existing list can also be deleted. Uh, but as uh, it is with all of these AI based solutions that uh, adequate training on individual unique type of documents is required for the models to get trained and for the data extraction to be of good quality. As for the text processor, so text processor over here shows what are the important uh, OCR engines that we are currently supporting on default basis. So what we have done over here was based on Google Vision, but rest of it are also the remaining three of them, the COFAX, AWS, and the AWS recognition. Uh, by default, they are there, but some of the companies might require or might use some specialized uh, OCR engines like Abby, 
Uh, in fact, it's uh, worth mentioning over here that we will be doing a, a huge data digitization work for uh, one of the world's leading companies, oil and gas companies. For that, we had used Abbey as a licensed version. So that was integrated in this uh, platform and uh, the outputs were, of course, definitely quite good. So uh, this is how uh, using or leveraging multiple OCR engines, uh, we can uh, actually extract the document the parameters from these documents. So with this, I will just go back to the home screen. And uh, before I end this session, I would also like to say that uh, this solution is able to extract metadata from seismic images. Uh, the typical are uh, being the uh, line names and uh, the basins and other information, as well as it can also extract uh, data sets from surface, subsurface well log metadata sets, especially on the header information. Uh, so even <clears throat> if these data sets need to be extracted and the data parameters need to be uh, used, uh, so they can very well be done using this entire solution. Uh, so with this, uh, I will pause and stop my presentation and I will hand it over to you, Manish, for the concluding remarks. Thank you, Siddharth. Maybe uh, you can hold for a minute and okay. we, can, we can ask for questions. So members, uh, here we would like to conclude our presentation and we can take your questions, if any. Thanks, Manish. Um, there is one question in chat. Is Phosphor the rebranding of LTI EPVM or is it a new product line? Yes, Tim. So, Phosphor is the rebranding re of uh, one of the solution we had earlier called Mosaic. Yes, you're right. Thank you. Are there any more questions from Manish and Siddharth? Have you been able, thanks Ian, have you been able to take the extracted metadata and use that to populate entities in OSDU? Uh Yes, if I can address this question. So this solution specifically uh, is more tuned toward extraction of metadata and giving an output in JSON or CSV format. Uh, as Manish, Manish mentioned that earlier, we had done a work on OSDU entitlement and obligation sphere on which all these metadata attributes were used for uh, managing the entitlements on OSDU. Uh, so Manish, would you like to uh, speak any more detail on that? Yeah, so uh, once we generate the JSON uh, file from from this solution again means uh, basically uh, we, we we will leverage our ingestion module and uh, with with the tags or uh, the data model which is set for a title and ob obligation possible, right? So that that's where uh, whatever is the data element now in this case we are talking about seismic contract, so all the seismic data will be based based on the obligations data we we captured from from this contract document right so that's where a um, lot of legal uh, legal aspect or obligation related aspect will be attached to the data elements which are going to reside in OSD data data platform so that that's that's the so overall solution we are trying to present here yeah 